Bitcoin is the bottom in a three-pronged approach, linear regression analysis, analog pattern match, match a story with a little bit of history, punctuated by Lux Algo. Has the damage in Bitcoin been done? And if they try to hit it again, will that sort of attempt be meh? week. Let's take a look at the chart. First, if you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live. And if the content works for you, hit the like button. Okay, let's start off with a linear regression channel. So I here in trading view, I'm going to put a linear regression channel on and I want to see like a long-term one. I want to say 450 days. So in other words, I'm telling, I'm telling trading view, to put in something that lets me look at this trend long-term using, I don't know, statistics to draw the channel. Now, what am I noticing here? Well, there was a bottom around 58. Bitcoin had a little bit of trouble, you know, in that area. But as of the recording of this video on August 18th, Bitcoin is holding at 59,700. So Bitcoin, you know, played around here at the top end of one of these ranges. So you can hang out down there. You can press it at 58 or 59. But how much damage can they really do if you think about it this way? I mean, it is an overall uptrend. I mean, if it's not an overall uptrend in Bitcoin, I don't know. What's the alternative? The dollar? Come on. Stop it. There's good support here in Bitcoin. Now, if we come off the linear regression channel, let's go to something a little bit more radical. I'm going to go to some a logarithmic view, right? So this is now a log view, meaning the scale and the chart changes a little bit. Now, in Bitcoin history, I'm thinking to myself, when was the last time that you had a really big puke right before something big could happen, right? Like there could be something with fiat, you know, you know, politicians want Bitcoin higher. Some politicians want to use tariffs, which means you got to have the dollar lower. Now, this to me reminds me of January before the Bitcoin ETF. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make a pattern match. I'm going to start like right around December 18th. And I'm just going to say, you know what? Let's take that trend. So there's the puke and then the trend and take it and just simply move it over here and be a pattern matching cowboy wild man. And to me, I don't know. That's pretty close, right? You had a lurch up and then a total collapse. And then what you had over here was like a quiet range. It just sat here. I don't know, this could be like for 10 days. So what, what happens if starting August 18th, you have this like August summer doldrums where it doesn't do much, which is exactly what you had here back in February before this thing went vertical. Is that possible in this case? Okay, well, let's go to Lux Algo for sort of like the final decision. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up something to show us, hey, is the low in? So this is the signals and overlays suite of indicators. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that this green band, this like buy zone when Bitcoin gets stretched out to the downside, the Black Monday crash in Bitcoin brought Bitcoin down there for the third time this year. In technical analysis, things happen in threes. So Bitcoin got into the oversold zone for the third time. And in dramatic fashion, obviously. Now, if we zoom in here, Lux Algo has a feature where it'll do like a high conviction momentum sell when Bitcoin broke down up here at 65. And then it'll give you the levels where, you know, it would cover that trade. So one level is 53 and the other level was 47. Well, when they did the big crash, right, the low here was 49.1. So is Bitcoin going to go back to 47? I don't know. It kind of feels like they've already done this. And if they did go back to 47, they would be obviously below the low at 49, but they would be really, really deep into this, what you would call green zone for the fourth time. 
What is the rationale to go down there for the fourth time? Well, you know, I don't know, maybe a debacle in stocks or a geopolitical black swan. But if they did, you would have major support at 47. So Luxalgo is basically telling you that, you know, the lows could be in. And if there's not, a low at 47 or a move to 47, even though I'm sure that would look horrible, would be Christmas. The more likely scenario comes from that pattern match where you have a similarity between now when equity market players are going to start allocating heavily towards a Bitcoin ETF because tech stocks are overvalued. You have gold breaking out, which is a signal that digital gold could follow. And, you know, fiat is in trouble. Luxalgo puts a floor underneath the market. So you could have a range, you could have a grinding up move. And if you have a down move, Luxalgo is down there supporting Bitcoin. So check out the affiliate link down below for more.